Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. One. Subscribe. Two. Like. Share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three. Like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Four. Subscribe. All right. Today we're going to take and, do, uh, and show some real life problems that can be solved by statistics. And this is for grade 7 mathematics for fourth quarter. For lesson 1, so poses real life problems can be solved by statistics. Now, what is a statistics? Statistics, you know, as you can see it, um, uh, it may be defined as the science that deals with the collection, organization, presentation, and an analysis and interpretation of data in order to be able to draw judgments or conclusion that help in decision-making process. So we have descriptive statistics, which repaired, referred to in a part, in a first part of the definition, deals with the procedure that organize, summarize, and describe quantitative data, while inference statistics implied in the second part of the definition that deals with the making ju judgment or a conclusion about a population based on the study of sample that is taken from the population. Okay, and Then, of course, we have the population is the entire collection of all the possible observations of a particular characteristics of interest. The sample is a representative set of observations that relates the characteristics of the whole. Okay, so population is the large large group of your, for example, uh, old people that are included in your study, and uh, sample is only part of that population okay so did you know that during biblical times Moses and David undertook what are now called censuses the counting of people under their care the Roman Empire required all citizens to return to the city of their birth in order to register, that is, to be counted and to be taxed. The origin of the word statistics comes from the word statistic, an Italian word which means statement or statement. The word was first used by Gottfried Akenwall in 1790 to 1772, a professor at Marlborough in England and Garen. That in gin in Germany. However, its use was popularized in the work of Sayer John Sinclair, entitled Statistical Account of Scotland, in 1791 to 1799. Okay, so today's society is completely taken over by numbers. So numbers appear everywhere. You look from news telling instead of the latest number of confirmed cases that are covered and deaths cases of COVID-19 statistics to sports show discussing the Gillas Filipinas for the upcoming basketball game to the evening news with stories focusing on crime rates, the expected lifespan of someone who eats junk food and the presence of probable rating. Statistical question is one that can be answered with data or data 
and for which it is anticipated that the data or information collected to answer the question will vary. There are two types of data, the numerical and categorical. In numerical data set, every value in the set is a number. So that's why from the word numerical for number, no? Categorical data sets can set can take a non a numerical value such as colors, levels, or such as etc. Like large, medium, small, no? These are category and number are numerical. Okay. Now these are examples of non-statistical questions. For example, how tall are you? So this is, is it statistical? No, because the answer is just may height, or, so there is no variability in the data. How tall or in inches was Ramon on his last birthday? Is this statistical? No. The answer is just Ramon's height on his last birthday, so there is no variability in data. Is Preston taller than 60 inches? Is this statistical? No. To answer this question, you just have to know Preston's size. So there is no variability in data. Okay. So this, so this is an example of statistical questions. All right, here. How tall are the students in your class in centimeters? So is this statistical? Yes. Because the students in my class are not all the same height, so there would be variability in data. Okay. How do the heights of the students in your class compare with the heights of the sixth graders in your school? Is this statistical? Yes. So to answer this question, you would need to know the height of all the students in my class and the heights of all the sixth graders in the school. So there would be variability in the data okay now how do the heights of the sixth graders in your school compare with the heights of the seventh graders in your school so is this statistical yes so to answer this question you you would need to know the heights of all the sixth graders and the heights of all the seventh graders in our school so there would be variability in the data okay So let's have this activity. Identify each step of the following data as categorical or numerical. The height of grade 7 student section, blessedness. So it's, it's categorical or numerical. So it's uh, height. You know, so it, we're taking for pertaining to a number. You know? Of course, when you get the height, you will have a number. So this is numerical. Okay? Favorite ice cream flavor for each of the 10th grade students. So, favorite ice cream. So, favorite maybe chocolate, strawberry, so whatever flavor what you want. So, the answer is categorical. Okay? So, this is N. Number one is N. Number two is I for uh, categorical. Hours of sleep on, on a school night for each of 15 grade uh, 7 students so for number 3 so hours of sleep so that means we're giving a number so this is uh, numerical next favorite movies of uh, it's grade 7 students so favorite again no so that means I get category and the number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 for the previous 10 months so, since it's number, so it, of course, numerical. And, okay, next. All right, so let's move on for activity two. Tell whether each of the following question is SQ or statistical question or NSQ for non-statistical. And then explain, okay? How many centimeters are there in one foot? Okay, so this question, so you just uh, convert one foot into centimeter. Okay, so this is non-statistical question. How much time do students spend in an online game? Okay, here, just uh, compute the number of hours you spend in an online game. So it's non-statistical. Then what are the symptoms of COVID-19? Okay. 
So here, symptoms. Okay, so there are different symptoms. So if you're going to analyze, um, this is a statistical question. So the three is, is Q. And what are the favorite uh, much or watch movie of grade seven students? So you need to survey the favorite uh, movie of the grade seven. So this is statistical question. Then how do you support government fight against the COVID-19? Of course, so there are ways on supporting. So you have to ask the questions. So, okay, so this is also statistical. Okay, let's have this activity. Uh, okay, fill in the blanks. A branch of mathematics that deals with the collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data is called, of course, the answer is statistics. Statistics. And then a question that should have different answers is um, statistical question. Okay. Statistical. Okay, statistical questions. And then the data that is represented by numbers, of course, is numerical data. Okay, and then a question that has an exact answer is non-statistical. No? So, yeah. Non-statistical. A data which is non-numerical values, it's a scholars, uh, levels or category, of course, categorical data. Categorical. Catego. Categorical. Categorical. Okay, so it's categorical data. Alright, so. <clears throat> and clarifications just write at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. Before I go, please don't forget to subscribe. Like, share, don't forget to ring the bell buttons, and uh, happy Easter everyone, thank you so much, love you all. A happy Easter, Team Organic Barcada, YTC International, and Team Solid Family. And to the Team Frudis, uh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Love you all.